Okay then, this video will take us through cleaning sound in Soundtrack Pro. You can go to Soundtrack Pro and just file open a file from a folder to clean up, or you can send it from Final Cut. So we'll send it from Final Cut this time because I guess a lot of people are doing that. So in Final Cut you might have lots of different clips down here on the timeline. So what you can send, I think it's best to send one at a time because each clip will have its different issues. So to send a clip to Soundtrack Pro, highlight the clip, which is one click, and then go to File, Send to uh, Soundtrack Pro Audio File Project. Soundtrack Pro Multitrack Project will be if you're sending everything. Let's just send one track at a time. It will ask you to save uh, it. The send in brackets is always tells you that this is a Soundtrack Pro file. So give yourself a folder for all the sounds you're using. This folder should be inside your Final Cut folder so that everything is obviously together. And there we go. So here, here's our audio file. Right, what we're going to do here, we can going to clean the background sound up, but also before that we're going to boost the audio level here. Your audio, your strongest audio should be hitting about minus 0.5 here. If you go to 0.5 then nothing's going to distort and it also leaves extra areas of sound so that you can then add your sound effects, uh, music, anything else. Obviously every sound that you add is going to boost up the audio so you don't want to take it up too far. You can take it back down again in Final Cut Pro when you do your final mix so let's follow what I've read in the manuals. So we want to boost our sound first so if you double click the audio so that it highlights and go to process normalize when you normalize it's going to take the audio up to what we say so if we say let's send it to minus 5 decibels okay so minus 0 0.05 okay that will take the loudest point in your track and boost that to the point 0.5 and all the other audio will follow accordingly Okay, and you can see the audio has boosted up. So this point here is the loudest point, so that's taken to the point 0.5. Okay, so much louder audio, but also you can see the background noise here is much fatter, so the background noise is also too loud. So we will now take the noise down in the background, the noise reduction. So first, if we can use the slider here to zoom in on our track so that we can see our background sound a lot better. Highlight a little piece of it. You don't have to highlight all, way, all the way to the dialogue. Uh, we're just taking a sample of what we don't like. Okay, so once you've highlighted, go to Process, Noise Reduction, Set Noise Print. And that takes a sample of what we dislike. Now another double click to highlight the whole track. And go to Process, Noise Reduction, Reduce Noise, which will bring this pop-up menu up. Okay, so in here we can press play and this will loop the audio track. And while we're doing that, we can pull the noise threshold up to the right to take out more of the background sound. If you go too far, you'll hear the audio that you do want, the voice, start to become metallic. So don't go too far. If when people are watching the film, they start to notice that the sound is strange, then that's probably going to be more off-putting than actually hearing the background noise. Okay, so, so it's, it's finding a happy medium. You take the noise threshold up to the right, you can then smooth it down with by taking the reduction back down a little bit so you're not reducing a full 100% of what you've put up there. It's a seesaw, it's a happy medium between the two. There's no set way on this, It's just you need to just listen to it and use your ear. Once you're happy with that, you have the tone control here. You can preserve the bass, bring the bass back in to bring the warmth of the voice back in. Or you can go towards the treble, which is more for documentary if it's more to make that audio audible to the viewer. Okay. So again, it's, it's, it's up to your ears what you prefer, what you would like from the audio. The final thing here, you can press the noise only tab, which will show you just the noise that you're getting rid of. So if you just hear hiss, that's the background noise you're getting rid of. If you can start hearing parts of the voice, then that's going to cause problems later on. And again, it's up to you. Just keep listening and work it out. So I will do this now. <sighs> Maybe you would like to bring our viewers up to date since the last time we met. Okay, so there's a little bit of background noise still. If I switch to noise only, you can just hear the hiss is coming through when it hits the background, particularly. If I take it up further, some of those we 
pangs of audio will be the outer levels of the voice, so just be careful of that. I'm going to take it to about there. You can hear it is a bit metallic and a bit strange. So we'll go to there. You're just getting rid of that hiss which you can hear. And finally, apply. Once you've applied the filter, similarly to uh, Photoshop, they appear here in your actions for that track. If there's anything you want to change slightly, you can double click to further change your audio, or you can cut them out if you just want to delete the filters that you've added. If you're happy with what you've done, you can now send it back to Final Cut Pro so that the audio will replace the original audio in Final Cut. For this to happen, Final Cut needs to be on the whole time so the packages can talk to each other. So all I need to do now is go to File, Save. It will ask here, this project currently references external audio files, those in Final Cut. Please select how you want to save the project. Include source audio means you're going to replace the original one. Okay, so if you OK that, we'll process that and now go to Final Cut Pro. And you'll see the audio here has now got the scent next to it and also the audio down in your track. If it says sent afterwards, it is the audio you have sent from Soundtrack Pro. Let's go back to our Soundtrack Pro track now. Uh, other things you can do, we've still got a lot of fur uh, in the audio, so what you can do, if you zoom in as far as possible, you can grab the whole of the background audio. Let's grab it a bit better than that. And you can process, adjust the amplitude. The amplitude is the volume, so you could take that right down and that will soften the background noise much further, and you can see there it goes to a very single line takes time to go through each piece of audio like this, obviously, but it will clean up issues you feel you have. If you've done as you should and recorded a wild track or room tone of every location you've been on, you could remove all the background noise and then place the wild track underneath quietly so that you still have that smoothness and that constant audio for each clip.